today we are making a video on subuntu minimal iso file of a 23.04 version i don't know what is a minimal uh, subuntu iso file uh, it was available in the beta uh, uh, folder of uh, subuntu so let's try to install this uh, or try it in a live mode uh, it says minimal iso of uh, subuntu maybe that's uh, there is a thing where they already mentioned in the premier previous news like they will be releasing a minimal iso file of a subuntu and ubuntu like that so i downloaded this it was in a beta version so let's try to explore uh, with you i didn't even uh, see this thing so i'm going to see with you so let's try to see what is new in the minimal iso file so I forgot to mention that I'm running it on a VMware which is a virtualization uh, with 80 GB of hard disk, 4 GB of RAM and with two processors. So it's going to take a few seconds like a maximum of a one minute to boot up uh, to the desktop layout or a minimum of 30 to 40 seconds. So Ubuntu is a flavor of Ubuntu so the version is a 23.04. So we should be having our desktop layout uh, loaded completely in a few seconds more like a 10 to 15 seconds I guess. I don't know why it says minimal uh, right now in the stable version it is uh, it isn't uh, available but luckily I downloaded in the beta ISO file and I already mentioned to my viewers that uh, if you want the beta ISO file of uh, minimal I will be making that content so here is the content. Uh, I didn't even know what uh, what are the available apps or the what are the available uh, things in the minimal ISO. Let's qu quickly try to explore uh, uh, with you. So it's going to take a few more seconds I guess because the mouse pointer isn't uh, loading properly. We should be it should be taking like a 10 to 15 seconds more I guess. So I'm using a VMware so let me change the display resolution. So again we have a two options like a usual in the Ubuntu flavors or the Ubuntu. So this is the live boot and this is the installation process. Uh, if you ask my opinion I'm going to say always try to boot it in a live mode then go with the installation after you're satisfied with the live boot after working with or using the 7 to 8 hours of the Linux distro in a live boot. Then go to the installation after you don't uh, encounter any bugs or like that uh, you can go with the installation if you don't want to use it first use always use it in a live boot so you need to choose your local language here i'm going to choose english there are plenty of languages available let's try it in english and uh, try it in a live boot it's going to take a maximum of uh, 20 seconds or minimum of uh, 5 to 10 seconds so let's wait and uh, see what this minimal ISO file is uh, 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 for what are the available things in the minimal ISO. So let's uh, check the display set, change the display resolution first by going to app menu settings and display. As you can see there are not plenty of apps available just a few apps. That's the reason I think they gave the name uh, minimal. In the stable ISO files that is this isn't not available right now but in the beta version it was available so I luckily downloaded so let's try to explore so there is nothing uh, more here just a few apps first uh, let's check the about XFCE this is the latest version of XFCE which is a 4.18 the latest uh, version running right now is a 4.18.4 in their official website so kernel is 6.2.0 and it's a 64 bit architecture and as you can see it's a development branch because it was a beta version when uh, I downloaded the stable version of a minimal ISO file of a Subuntu is not available right now so here are some of the information you can go through all the information let's quickly open the system monitor and uh, check the uh, resources I s let's see it's available or not there is no system monitor in the uh, applications because it's a minimal ISO there is nothing available just uh, terminal and some other apps so let's try to grab the terminal emulator and uh, let's try to grab the distro info let's check the about uh, 1.0.4 so let's type in command which is uh, inxi 
dash sv8 this is the command which will grab every distro info all the information from the distro so inxi is not installed so let's uh, try to install the inxi by copying the command which is uh, sudo app install inxi click on enter you need to type y for yes to install it's going to take a few more seconds instead of waiting for this let's change the color of the theme so you can properly look at it uh, alert presets which is a black and white i'm going to choose black and white uh, because it uh, is clearly seen so inxi is installed so let's type in this uh, or copy this command and uh, type in here or paste it here and we have all the distro info here and the host is ubuntu kernel is 6.2 and it's a 64-bit architecture compiler is not available uh, xfce version is 4.18.1 gtk version is 3.24.36 it's based on ubuntu 23.04 luna lobster light dm version is a 1.30.0 and xfwm version is 4.18.0 bt7 and i'm running it on a virtual uh, virtualization or a vmware so machine says uh, on the machine it says vmware and the ram consumption is almost a 1 gb of a 4 gb so this is my cp if you want to go through all this uh, information you can go through all these things so let's uh, slowly scroll it down vmw gfx version is 2.20.0 and uh, what else we left display is x11 x, uh, server xorge version is 1.21.1.7 1 .1 xfw1 version is 4.18 so these are the available display resolutions or resolutions of a monitor uh, right here so opengl version is 4.1 mesa is 23.0.1 so let's uh, scroll it down pipe voyage, uh, pipe wire version is uh, 0.3.65 pulse audio version is 16.1 uh, so let's scroll it down and find other information. So INXI version is 3.3.25 and uptime is 5 minutes. Processors running right now are 284. Systemd version 252. Bash version is 5.2.15. So let's type in another command. So INXI, this is the same information which will uh, which is from above. But in a short form, let's type in inxi dash uh, small b. You will get the same information as the above, but in a short form. Let's type in another command which is inxi dash uh, capital G. Same information. If you want to install NeoFetch, you can install in NeoFetch by typing sudo app install NeoFetch. I don't want to install it right now, so let's uh, quickly skip that thing. Let's type in htop htop is also not installed let's install htop by typing sudo apt install htop it takes uh, 10 seconds maximum and we have htop installed so let me type htop and here is the htop memory is uh, 5.516 mb of uh, 4 gb these are cpu tasks are running uh, like a 70 right now so let's close this thing uh, before closing let's check the version of the terminal 1.0.4 so that's the information of the distro so let's check the desktop wallpaper soluble nothing changed just the casual wallpapers try to ignore the background noise if it uh, allowed because people are playing our kids are playing here or and uh, some construction is also going and try to ignore the keyboard mouse and a mouse keyboard and a mouse uh, sound or clicking because my microphone picks up everything it's a AT microphone so on the desktop features here is a calendar and time volume audio mixer power notifications internet connection about panel should be xfc 4.18.2 you can change the settings here customize i'm using a microphone so it says as you can see there's a uh, things going on here so let's close this thing and uh, let's go through all the apps uh, which uh, which comes pre-installed 
Tunar File Manager 4.18.4, which is latest version. Let's try to uh, let's quickly go to all the applications and check the applications available. Uh, so these are all the pre-installed apps available right here. So let's go to Snaptic Package Manager. After this, I'm going to show you the website of Subuntu and I'm going to show you the installation process also. Snaptic version is also latest. So the installed version should be like uh, highlighted with a dark color and the installed version will be here. So I'm just going to run through fast if you want to like this, for example, like this, the installed version will be like a highlighted dark here, like this, as you can see green color and the installed version like will be here. So I'm going to scroll it down very fast because it's a lengthy of uh, packages available right here. So if you want to see this, uh, you can change YouTube settings, uh, go to YouTube settings and uh, change the playback speed from 1 to 0 0.25. You should be seeing in a low speed or a slow speed. So these are the available packages. So let's close this thing. So let me try to go to their web website all applications let's see what available our web browser is here let's scroll it down and uh, find the web browser there is no web browser so let's close this thing even i have a web, uh, web browser i can't show the show you the iso file because it is uh, uh, hidden i guess because it was available in the beta version luckily i have downloaded but in the stable version it's uh, only the 4.5 GB ISO file is uh, visible. This file was like a 3 800 MB or uh, 1 GB, I guess. It was it was a minimal. So, so let's execute the installer launch anyway. I already made the Subuntu 23.04 uh, full ISO file. This is a minimal minimal version. So if you want, you can go through all these things. I made uh, every Ubuntu 23.04 flavors. If you want to check that out, you can check that out. So first you need to choose your language. There are plenty of languages available. This is the same Linux uh, installation process. Nothing changed or nothing complicated. Even the basic uh, guy who knows the language will uh, install this. And the keyboard layout, I'm choosing English English on both sides. Continue. And these are the options you can click on it or if you don't want it so uh, you can do that later if you ask me it's better to check this button because it's going to update the latest Ubuntu installation and third party software like graphics and Wi-Fi it's useful so let's continue it's going to prepare the Ubuntu drivers it's going to take a few more seconds like 30 to 40 seconds I don't know why the Ubuntu uh, has the new installer but the Ubuntu flavor didn't have the new installers uh, new installer still uh, the Ubuntu GNOME desktop environment has a new installer which is uh, as you can see in my video it was very fast the installer was quickly uh, installed the uh, Ubuntu the, there is no delay or uh, time consuming in that thing the insta installation process was quick there is uh, no problem with it but the old or the Ubuntu uh, flavors has still the old installer that's the point I'm trying to explain here. On the installation type, you need to be very careful because it's going to erase the disk if you choose this. If you choose something else, it's going to give you the partition sync. Uh, if you want dual boot, you can go with the option. If you want to single boot, it will delete the uh, all files and the operating system and install the Subuntu. So be careful while choosing this option and you should be having an idea of what you're doing here. So this was the installation process after clicking on install. Now it's going to take a maximum of uh, 5 to 10 minutes, not 5 to 10 minutes, maximum should be 20 minutes. Depends on your PC, depends on the ISO file or the Linux distro. So the maximum should be 20 minutes or minimum should be like uh, 5 to 10 minutes. That's the installation process. And you should be having like a finish thing or finish button. After clicking finish, you need to reboot your system and you should be having your uh, Linux distro installed on your hard disk. So that's the installation process. So let's close this thing. And I think we covered everything. So there is nothing left to show here. So let me shut it down and end the video. On the system manager, uh, manager just the same things, nothing changed. So I think that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video. 
If you did hit the thumbs up button, it helps make a good content for you. Other than that, I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace out.